All right, guys, how's it going? Justin again, as always, thanks for watching my channel. Today, we're talking snap ring pliers, specifically a kit uh, that I recently picked up from my Cornwell tool distributor. The part number is ML625R, and the sizes that it covers is 38 thousandths, 47 thousandths, and 70 thousandths. So you get three different size uh, snap ring, uh, re snap ring removal pliers, uh, both for internal and external use. And you get these straights as well as the 90 degree angle uh, feature for removal of snap rings. Now in case you're not sure what a snap ring looks like, it looks something like this. You might find these guys on certain ball joints in manual as well as automatic transmissions. You'll also find a different style of clip that I don't have with me at the moment uh, that's referred to as a retaining clip. A little different than this. The retaining clip, if you were to cut the ends off, these two little eyelets that you see here, and just make this almost like a C-clip, that would be what a retainer clip would be like. And there are um, external uh, removal pliers for those specifically and I'll see if I have any. Give me a second. Okay, so I actually do have two pairs of the retainer ring pliers as I was telling you about if you were to remove the ends here. Um, this is mostly for those transmission rebuilders out there. Um, but they look something like this. These are made by Snap-on. And you'll notice right there at the end there's a little tiny ball and what that would do is it would fit in between the two C uh, clipped open areas and it would help to widen the clip that is holding all the gear sets together. You might find another pair that look a little different that might be for more uh, fine or more recessed uh, retainer rings. Again, this is not a retainer ring, this is just a uh, C clip. But I figured I would show you the difference between retaining ring pliers and snap ring pliers. All right, now let's get back to the snap on, not snap on, <laughs> sorry, snap ring uh, plier set that I picked up from Cornwell. So again, like I said, they have the uh, third, what is it, 38 thousandths, 47 thousandths, and 70 thousandths. So we're going, you know, 38, 47, 70 down to the smallest size. So what you would end up doing if you had a snap ring like this on a ball joint or a carrier bearing or something like that that you're trying to remove, you might look for the size that best fits the hole or the diameter of the hole. So these would obviously be too, too small. So we would have to go with something a little bit bigger. So we might go to something like this. Now, these are brand new. So these right now are set for a, uh, a different type of C, come on, snap ring. But how they would work is you'd put the two detents or tips through the holes and you'd either squeeze or you'd have to switch the selector by flipping the lever, lifting it up, moving it over, locking it down in place, and now we can set it up to remove things a little differently. They're not broken in yet. These things are brand new, so they're still a little bit tight. But they will break in. They do have a break-in period. Okay, but you squeeze that. It opens the ring up, and you can lift it off the ball joint or what have you. Okay? So that's basically how the snap ring pliers work from Cornwell. Features that I like about it. I like the uh, the quick change. To jump from one side to the other, locking it back down, and going back to full use. I like the quick change. I also like the grips. The grips do feel really comfortable in my hand. It conforms well to the human hand. I like the grips. Um, there might be a different style that you would prefer over this style, but I'm just giving you my opinions of what I like about them. Dislikes. 
even though it is a like with the uh, the quick interchange, the dislike that I have behind it, as I noticed that there was one specific pair that I had a difficult time. See, I've, I've broken it in now. I did have a difficult time with this earlier where I could not break that free or lock it back down. So again, don't judge it too quick. They do have a break in period. Some of these, the, the quick change can be a little intimidating at first because you really got to kind of break them in. So even though it's a like, it's also a dislike in the very beginning. Uh, I do like the quick change feature. I dislike the break in portion of it, but it's something that we have to get over when using new tools. They will break in and it'll be much easier for that quick selector switch. Something else that I like outside of the comfort grip and the quick selector switch is that uh, I have utilized the snap ring pliers from Harbor Freight and the tips on those um, from Harbor Freight were not machined well enough for any practical use. So I took them back to the store and ended up picking up these. I'm sorry I didn't do a video, uh, video review of those, but just take my word for it. I did not like them. They were not practical and they didn't fit in any snap ring that I was trying to use them for. That's why I picked up this set. That being said, I will also, here in a little bit, uh, take you over to the Amazon store and I will show you similar products for a fraction of the cost that either come with more or uh, either more snap ring pliers or more choices of angle or for cheaper cost but also a really good quality. So I will take you to the Amazon store and I'll show you some other brands that you might pick up where you can get them cheaper. Of course, Amazon Prime orders fast shipping, two day shipping. So if you're an Amazon Prime member, that's gonna work out great for you. Dislikes that I have with them would be the, uh, the, amount, that you, the amount of pliers or variances that you get for the price. Price for this kit goes for about $125. Uh, currently and you can get a 12 piece set from Lang as an example for $75 again we'll we'll talk about it and I'll show you guys on the computer here in a minute alright so side by side features in case you were thinking about other brands uh, such as snap on Maco etc the Maco brand I looked at those they're almost identical in every way to the Lang product these do have some similarities to the Lang product. So Lang might actually be the original company that developed the snap ring plier. And then of course it got rebranded Macco and Cornwall. They may very well be. I don't know for a fact. I'm not stating a fact. I'm stating an opinion. But a huge difference in competitors would be snap-on. Now I do have one pair of snap-on snap ring pliers. And you'll see they got really good machining on the tips I've had these for a long time I've utilized this specific set for ball joint, uh, ball joint snap rings which is why I kept this specific style a 90 degree this specific tip and I've just kept this one pair I didn't buy the whole kit just bought this one pair for my own practical use I think I might have spent 30 bucks for this one pair at any rate, how you switch this, it's not so quick. You do have to unscrew um, the pair of pliers and then you have to re-screw to the side that you need it to be on whatever snap ring that you're trying to remove. You have to unscrew and re-screw every time. So that is one feature that I disliked about this specific pair of snap ring pliers but something that I did like about it is that there's no break-in period you don't have to worry about struggling with you know removing or tightening of the thumb wheel another feature that I liked about the snap-on ones was the comfort grip that they have I like the metal I've had this pair for about eight years now and you can see it has very very light amount of surface rust not bad for eight years and of course this pair has been with me from Oregon to California and numerous weather conditions and they've just held up 
I'm really hoping for the same exact quality out of this uh, boxed set that I picked up from Cornwell. I really am hoping for the same exact quality. So that's all I got for this portion of the video. I uh, will now share a couple of clips of some similar products that I find that are of equal or better value than what I picked up from the Cornwall tool distributor. Let's check it out. All right, so let's go to Amazon. Let's take a look at some of the other manufacturers that are out there, some of the cost differences that you can expect, some of the different sizes, some of the different features. And we'll just do a light comparison between the ones that I picked up from Cornwell, the one pair that I have from Snap-on. We'll do some price comparisons and then we'll talk about warranty a little bit. So looking at the screen here, uh, I was telling you guys about Lang. We're going to pull up the Lang 12-piece uh, fixed tip internal external snap ring pliers. Now if you'll notice here, on the uh, on the hand grips a lot of similar features to the Cornwall ones however the uh, I'll mouse over the selector here you can see that the selector style is much like the one that you can find on the snap um, snap on ones so again similar features not exact not sure who makes the uh, tool for Cornwell or Matco to rebrand. It's just something to put in the think tank, you know, something to think about because rebranding is out there, we're all aware of it. But Lang does make a really good product. Another product to like is OTC. We'll talk about that. We'll take a look at their snap ring pliers set and uh, see what kind of features and benefits that they have. So now let's go ahead and we'll go back to our search page. And we'll talk about a few gimmicky things too. Here's a uh, what I would consider a gimmicky pair of snap ring pliers. You might notice some similarities here on this one to the ones that you can find at like Harbor Freight. In a pinch, I've gone to Harbor Freight, I've purchased this gimmicky pair. They do not hold up. Yeah, I've broken the tips off of these things. They're weak at best, I would not waste my money. Even though they cost 10 bucks, I would not waste my money on it, it's just crazy. Bring it to tears and make it go back to the store to return it and get your money back. Now, Harbor Freight does sell an entire set, which I have used in the past, but they have poor machining, so poor that it didn't even fit within the snap ring eyelets. So, I wouldn't buy snap rings from Harbor Freight. I'm just throwing that out there. A, another gimmicky tool, and Lang is no exception. I uh, first noticed this gimmicky tool, it was made by Craftsman. And during my first year of automotive, when I was undergoing manual transmissions and getting ready to go into automatic transmissions, um, but when I was in manual transmissions, one of the first transmission courses I took at the community college, I picked this pair up that were Craftsman's and they were pretty similar to this. Uh, very gimmicky. I didn't like them, as you can see, there's little tiny Allens that actually hold the, uh, the snap ring adapters in place. If you don't tighten them down good enough, they do fall out. Uh, takes a lot of time to find the right Allen key to undo it because sometimes you misplace the one that it came with. A whole, just a bunch of scrutiny that you don't have to deal with if you don't want to. So I would not go for that gimmicky pair. Gear Ranch has come up with their own set of snap ring pliers and as you can see they too have a turn wheel style um, selector so you can change it from internal to external snap rings not a bad set if you ask me it looks pretty decent but gear wrench is starting to become very popular in name and their price is relatively close to the same price i paid for the cornel ones now it does look like they give you the 45 degree option. So that's an added feature. For the same cost, you can get a 45 degree offset with the three different sizes. So that's pretty cool. Let's see if we can find OTC. Hmm. Be careful. 
Don't be in a rush to buy the laying ones just yet. Here is the exact same 12 piece set sold by a different seller, but for $250. Guys, if you can get it for $75, get it for $75, but don't push, you know, add to cart right away if you see this set for 250 bucks. Keep scrolling, you'll find the one I'm talking about. I'll even put it down in the description for you. All right, let's move on, see if we can't find some OTC ones. Oh, here's some Knipics. So, looks like Knipics does sell them as well. Now, here is some dislikes already. Now, I have not owned this set. I don't know how good they are. I know there's Knipics is a good quality. But take a look for a minute. We'll hover over the picture here. <clears throat> they have an inside outside um, snap ring flyer in both the 90 and the straights and then it looks like they give you an inside or an outside in a slightly bigger size so truthfully from what I'm looking at here they only give you two different sizes and they only get in one size they do give you the inside outside option but in the other size they don't so that could be a dislike because now you got three different sets of pliers, you can't interchange them. And what if you need a different size, you know, a bigger size or a smaller size? You're limited on sizes here with the Knipix set and they're selling them for $165. So a little bit more than I would like to see. Here's another company, it's called Calhawk Tools. I don't know anything about them. Let's just hover over and check it out. So right out the gate, looks like they give you the straights, the 90s. Looks like they give you four different size variations. They do give you the uh, the free wheel to interchange the internal to external snap ring. Uh, but there is some deviation in the handles between the smaller sizes and the large sizes. I don't know that that's an added benefit. Myself, if I'm looking for a specific grip and I like a specific grip, I'd like the grip to remain the same throughout the entire plier set. So I'm going to go ahead and throw this in the no-go category. Uh, not because it's a cheap set, just because I don't like the fact that the handles are all different. And even looking at the handles, they don't look comfortable to me. They don't. It's my opinion. Okay, I've never bought them before. Uh, let's see if we can't find OTC because I'm really curious of what the OTC ones look like how they are going to compare. So, a couple of different kits here. Here's an OTC kit. Now it's a 12 piece kit for 155.36. Now OTC used to be a brand that a lot of automotive uh, mechanics used to go to um, because they were the ones that actually started providing the tools for a lot of the distributors early on before these other companies came out. So they're very reputable. They've been around for a while. Uh, but if you take a look here at the handles, really thin. Uh, it doesn't look like they put any effort into creating a, what I would call a good quality snap ring plier set as far as the handles go. Now as far as the durability of tips or the machining of the tips, it's OTC. I'm gonna give them the credit that they deserve and say that the tips are probably exactly what you're looking for. But as far as the handles, I think they could have done a little bit better. That's just my opinion. So we've checked out a few different uh, major key players here, Knipix, Gear Wrench, OTC, Lang. We looked at some gimmicky snap ring plier sets. We've talked about the Snap-on versus the Cornwell. Uh, I don't have a Matco set to show you, um, but We'll let you be the judge of that. That's all I got for this video, guys. Thanks as always for watching. Sorry it was so long, but I hope you learned something from this. If you like the video, give it a thumbs up. If you dislike the video, give it a thumbs down. Share it if you'd like to share it. If you like this video or this style of video, let me know down in the comments and maybe we can uh, do this again sometime, especially if it helps you guys. So thanks for watching. We'll see you next time. Cheers.